Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us on The Road Show on this Thursday morning. You are taking a live look outside this morning at North Kingstown, and yes... It is cloudy outside. I was going to say, is that the sun trying to yeah, peek out? Is I don't it know. just clouds rolling on in? It is a little cloudy. Where are we going out? today? It is a little cloudy out this morning, and it actually feels very fall like this morning, too. Have you put out any of your uh, fall stuff yet? I, you or know are you what? decorating for Christmas already? You what, know I decorate the, for Christmas. <laughs> what's, <laughs> yeah. the, what's the deal? What are we doing? What so season are we on? We there? actually have a big ghost okay. inside the house, though. Yes. We don't really do anything outside now that I'm thinking about right. it. I should get that big skeleton that you've been talking about. I have something better than the big skeleton. Oh. And I'm that's do tell it's going to come to my house and then it's going to come out oh, this. <laughs> you think i'm kidding you you have no idea right? he has been talking about right? this he's very excited very excited very excited he, so we'll be showing can't you can't share yet We'll show you that very soon. All right, this year's class, it was a great night last night, was inducted uh, last night into the Rhode Island Radio and Television Hall of Fame, including some very familiar faces. That's right, our very own Dan York and former longtime WPRI reporter, um, Sean Daly. The ceremony took place at the Crown Plaza in Warwick last night, and Daly reflected on his storied career in journalism. I'm touched by this honor being recognized for having made some sort of an impact. It's the old line. It's easy to make a buck. The hard part is making a difference. Wow. TV news and little roadie. The gift that keeps on giving. Whatever else it may have been, my work world rarely was dull. That is true, and he's such a great guy as well. So other inductees include WJAR's Betty Jo Jeannie Green, who is a big, and I'm telling you, big Roadshow fan. WBLQ radio owner, the late Chris DiPaolo, radio sports commentator, and also just a great guy, Joe Hassett, and radio news reporter, Paul Gary, who we also love. It was a great night last night. House was full of people, and it was always good. It's probably the one time all year long that everybody gets, no matter what station you work at, whether mm -hmm. it's radio or television, whether you, uh, you know, you, you don't usually see each other, so it's a one night all year long that you get together. The governor was there last night, mm -hmm. too. It's good to see so many familiar faces and just fun to be with everybody. I was going to say, I know you, you came in this morning, so you had a wonderful time yeah, last night. Yeah, it was a good night. night. Yes, yes. What a great opportunity, yeah. too, to, again, see everybody. Right. So, Laugh, joke. You said you tear up a little bit, yeah, too. Yeah, so we, we will take a break for a couple of weeks as far as as far as far this, and then uh, the board gets back in business again and starts to It's figure, amazing that you guys do this. Out, it's uh, unbelievable. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Figure out who goes in for for next year. <laughs> Buddy, Brendan, good morning. I'm sorry I couldn't be there last week. Yes. As, as you both know, I'm oh, still goodness. battling. Oh, goodness. Mild bronchitis. <laughs> But it looked like a great night. It was a great night. And I'll tell you, I was an intern here at this very station all the way back in 2002. And I remember one night I was here working. And who did I run into in the bathroom? Sean Daly. Wow. And I thought, oh, this is, as, this is as big as it gets right here. I just ran into Sean Daly in the bathroom. Wow. But also, Dan York has been a supporter of mine going back 20 years. Sure. I had this silly little late night talk show, Wicked Late. And Dan was so kind to be a guest. And he's always been very supportive supportive of me and you know what a big PC Friars fan I am yeah Joe Hassett and John Rook the dynamic duo calling games on the radio for decades now they were really like the soundtrack of me growing up I loved basketball and I loved the Friars so what a night it was a big it night like it was a great night. night yeah lots of fun. Lots terrible of fun. that I couldn't be there bronchitis <laughs> the mild bronchitis they really should have moved the, 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 the <laughs> ceremony to tonight Surprise, they did it well could could a date, just so Brennan could make next it next year we I will take there you go yeah oh Kidding aside, congrats to all of those talented and well deserving individuals. Well, Thursday morning is upon us. Good morning, Will. Good Audrey. morning. Good we morning. have a lovely show planned for each and every one of you. Yes, all of you. It's almost Friday, which is a pretty good thing. We'll have some important information regarding identity theft and the IRS. Very important topics. Karen Beebe, owner of the Queen of Hearts and Modern Love Boutiques, will talk all about their stores and unique style. You know, I like to think of myself as an expert in the field of modern love. So we'll pay close attention and see if I measure up there. Oh, and Meg will take us to a place called Get My Boat, and I joke all the time that I'm Captain Kirby. I'm not. I don't belong on the water, but Meg does, and she'll enlighten all of us. And how excited, exciting is this? 
We will have Ashley's conversation with the one and only Gordon Ramsay. He's got great hair. He does. I'm going to tell you something. I think the two of us should have a hair face off. I'm wondering if Ashley asked him about this. Probably not. Oh, and Chef Diego from Silietro Mexican Kitchen will be in our kitchen. All of this and so much more. So let's not waste another minute of my pointless babble. And believe me, it is pointless. Let's send it over to Audrey.